good morning students i hope you all are fine and healthy let's start the part 8 of chapter number 5 that is presentation software special effect book exercise of this chapter so please take out the page number 71 exercise number 1 tick the correct answer a powerpoint presentation is also called dash tick slide show and also write down in fill up dash is used to change the color of the background and all the geometric shapes on the slide tick theme and also write down in fill up the selected text appears dash on the screen tick highlight it and also write down in fill up you can press dash key to end the slide show any time tick escape and also write down in fill up now exercise number 2 write t for true and f for false statement number 1 you cannot change the layout of any slide write down f and for the true statement underline cannot and write down can b a picture stored on your computer can also be added to the slide write down t true you cannot create a chart by using excel worksheet in powerpoint write down f false A slide show display one slide at a time using the entire screen. Write down T. True. You can apply new background to change all the geometric shapes. Write down F. And for the true statement, underline to change. An instant to change. Write down without any change in. i again repeat without any change in now take out the page number 72 exercise number 4 filling the blanks number 1 dash provides a quick way to create a new powerpoint presentation write down templates t e m p l e t e s b you can also add clip part and picture from the dash tab write down insert i n s e r t 3 dash graphics can be used in presentation to illustrate a process or structure write down smart art capital s m a r t and capital a r t D. Click on dash button to apply texture fill on all the slides. Write on apply to all. E. In slide show preview, press dash key to return to the previous slide. Write on backspace. Now, exercise number six, application based question. Pawan has made a presentation of fifteen slides. All the slides have the same background. He want to change the background of all the slides. He want your help in doing so. Help him accomplish his task. So write down the answer by adding solid color, gradient, texture, or custom image in background. Now exercise number three. Define the following. Number A template. Write down page number fifty one. Number B design theme. Write down seventy one. C smart art. Write down sixty two. D table. Write down sixty three. E charts. Write down sixty four. And F shapes. Write down sixty five. So please take out the page number fifty one. for the answer third a underline the lines on page number 51 paragraph number 
templates provide a quick way to create a new PowerPoint presentation. They contain layout, theme, color, font, effect, background styles, and the contents. Start from templates and end at the content. For the second answer, please take out the page number 71. Self-evaluation number two point. Design theme is built in design for creating a presentation which includes predefined information, layout, background, text and color. This is the answer number 3B. That is a question number 3 and B part. Now for the third answer, take out the page number 62. Start from the first line, smart art graphics. After graphics, write down used. Smart art graphics used to illustrate a process or structure. After this, start from here. It shows, cut you and write down us. It shows us some shapes to which cut you and write on V can add our own text. I again repeat smart art graphics used to illustrate a process or structure. It shows us some shapes to which we can add our own text. This is the answer number 3C. For D answer, take out the page number 63. Table is used to organize data in rows and columns. Cut you and write on V. V can use a content placeholder to insert a table and then type data into the table cells and write down the answer number 3D. For answer number E, take out the page number 64. Cut U and write down V. We can create a chart by using an Excel worksheet. Again, cut U and write on V. We can type our own chart data and choose the type of chart that we want to display. So now the answer is we can create a chart by using an Excel worksheet. So we can type our own chart data and choose the type of chart that we want to display. This is the answer 3E. For F answer, take out the page number 65. Cut U and write on V. We can use shapes option to insert various kind of shapes, line, arrows, stars and banners in our presentation. And this is the answer 3 F. Now the exercise number 5 answer the following questions we will cover in next video. Thank you.